Florida. Yeah. We're gonna go have some fun today. Alright, the camera should have been flipped I need to ask how your first flight was. Uh, it's interesting. For sure. Uh, got a little nervous at times, and probably Claudia told me I could turn a fan on, and I felt better, so. <laughs> Alright, let's go see what happens today. Our first meal in Florida is these little taquito things. Right. Never really stopped at so much before, but not bad for a quick little snack. That's the traditional Slurpee. I have Slurpee. Alright, uh, yeah, let's, let's uh, enjoy Florida. We're gonna go on a gator tour, so stay tuned. Mm-hmm. Here they are, alligator. Some alligators here. Some are. Could open water on, like, Kissimmee? Is that what the lake is? Kissimmee? Well, I don't know what the... I mean, Kissimmee is where we're at. I don't know what the body of water is actually called. Yeah, I know I've heard of, like, Kissimmee before from, like, all the Kissimmee. fish. Kissimmee. Uh, I've heard of Kissimmee. Okay. Kiss you. <laughs> okay. That's what you want. That's what you say. Birds getting a little too close for comfort there for me. Boggy Bottom Creek. Uh, oh, I thought it was 
This is oh. Boggy Boggy Bark. This is Boggy Boggy Bark. This is Boggy Creek Adventure. Air, Airboats. Airboats. Airboat, Airboat uh, Adventure or something like that. But we saw some alligators, but now we're going to eat some alligators. Mm -hmm. All right, we just got our food. I got a pulled pork sandwich with mac and cheese, some gator bites. All right, what'd you get, Daniel? I have barbecue ribs and some good yummy tater tots. All right, let's dig in. Hey, little guy. No, this ain't yours. Update, we went ahead and changed our location for that squirrel. Um, just tried to hop on our table. Probably had a plan to steal all of our food. And uh, yeah, we're not about to have that, Mr. Squirrel. So we got another, I got a nice view that way. Yep, you sure do. Crispy with like white chocolate, chocolate chip. Yeah, chocolate chip. Sure. Oh, yeah, let's see if we got one. I think it's here. Oh, you're right. Hey guys, we're about to go in and check out our hotel. We're staying at the Disney, what is this one? Uh, All-Star Movie Resort. We're in Love Bugs, so. Kind of works out. We're in the race car version of one of this place, so. We got our magic bands. We got our. Um, Happily ever after. Yep, yeah, for our honeymoon. And, and First visit for Danny B. First visit. I've been here when I was four, so I. They gave me a first one, but I, I mean, I guess it's the first time I've visited the hotel. So yeah, let's course, go. Of course, you know that uh, my friend Eric Yusuf has probably been here a lot. So. Yeah, so let's go check it out. See how funny is this? Hearts, checker flags, seems about right. Wow, this is nice. Oh, well, you can't see it because we're in the dark. Sorry guys, technical difficulties. Well, this is our room for the All-Star Resort. Pretty nice. Got little Disney stuff and whatnot. Nice clean updated. So, anyways, we're gonna go check out some of the other stuff at the hotel here in a bit. After I did this. Okay. Nice little pool area here, complete with the Sorcerer Mickey plantation. The hotel has everything, even a big arcade. That's our game. What? Oh my. Okay, do we have time for a quick game? Yeah. We have time for a quick game. Okay. Got a cloud of smoke in my way. Just 
staff here at the hotel may have put us into the best place ever because we are in the love bug area we have a actual replica of herbie here in winter circle we have the uh, giant version of herbie coming out over here on this side and then there he is going into that area on that side so yeah what do you think hon perfect yeah. perfect area for us it's pretty cool and they've got some other kind of disney areas around like the yeah, toy well, story and dalmatians we hadn't really had time to go see all that but. yeah it's really nice how like every part of this little hotel is like themed into a movie area so good choice hon yep so all right so me and claudia are about to go have our first dinner here in uh, florida and uh, we're having dinner with kind of a VIP uh, YouTube guest, aren't we? Sure, yeah. <laughs> we're, uh, we're actually having dinner with uh, Eric Eastep since uh, this is kind of his home for the time being. Uh, Eric, unfortunate, get to come to the wedding where Jared and Darian did. So make up for time lost, we're, we're hanging out with uh, Eric and Natalie tonight. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, get to see the tall guy. <laughs> Seems so weird to film this, but like it's like video quality food right here. <laughs> Monorail system that Disney is famous for. And uh, there's Eric. I'm scratching my back. <laughs> <laughs> they did not say that, but now you've admitted it. This is, this is embarrassing. I literally just started filming, trying to get some of this, and then... Hey, it's you'll see. Guys. We'll have... Oh. <laughs> you'll remember that forever. Yay, there's fireworks. Oh, Day two in Florida. We got our Disney shirts on. I got Pizza Planet. She's got Hakuna Matata. From Lion King. Oh, and look, we got our buttons. Yeah, got our cute little buttons here. Yeah, Eric's girlfriend Natalie gave us buttons last night. These yeah. buttons last night. And they only got him a first visit since it's his first time, so. Yeah, so all sorts of good, happy memories happen here. And we're gonna go eat us some breakfast here at the hotel and then go to Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom. Yep. I guess it, that's the one, if you, if you tell people you're going to Disney World, that's just what people naturally think, so. Yeah, because we're only here for one day, so we thought we'd just do the main main thing and be done, so. Yep. sounds like a plan to me. And uh, yeah, that's all for now. See you later. Yep. breakfast here and look at this even even our little waffles are Nikki shape. I mean when you're in the Disney spirit at this place you're in everywhere even your food. How cute is that? Mickey waffles and you got a little Mickey milk. So, All things Mickey. I mean if you're like just an absolute Disney fanatic this is definitely a place for you. magic band see how that works I guess you just put it up there I don't know we've never been here here's you put yours on that side down oh well not it'll still work
Danny B. Brad. <laughs> hey, you're cute. <laughs> So much food. I got a Mickey burger, which is like a bacon cheeseburger with mac and cheese. Gosh, and cute little Mickey bun and fries. And then that's his. So, so many fries. And I got this massive hot dog that's going to take me, I don't know, a good 30 minutes. We got man versus food competition over here. This little place is interesting. I love this. Uh, I guess you call it Ron. I don't know. Experience Attraction. Maybe. Attraction, maybe? Yeah. Good word. Are you enjoying your space rangers? Listen up. Green Squadron will retreat the power cell. All the rest of you are space rangers. Wow. Concentrate your fire now on We're about to get on the, or well, we're on the TK 
tubs. No, I hate spinny rods, so this is a definitely a rod for him. All right, here we go. You better hold on to that. Oh gosh. And they all live happily ever after. Each of us has a dream, a heart's desire. It calls to us. And when we're brave enough to listen and bold enough to pursue, that dream will lead us on a journey to discover who we're meant to be. All we have to do is look inside our hearts and unlock the magic within. Ready to begin, let the wonder take hold. Feel it draw you in, watch the moment unfold. I can see that we're meant to follow, setting out for Cups with Daniel. He rode a little baby coaster with me. Yeah, uh, it's weird for a guy who likes talking about cars that go 200 miles an hour. I'm a big wimp when it comes to roller coasters. Yeah, so. we rode the Seven Dwarfs thing, so we have extra magic time. So we're gonna go enjoy the last little bit of it. So it's only for like Disney hotel stayers. So we're gonna enjoy the last like hour or so and catch on some rides probably. Yep. I don't know, though, that'll be probably where we end the vlog on this part of Disney and uh, my first time at Disney World, and I really enjoyed it. Pretty cool. Um, if you come down here to Florida, make sure you try to plan out something. Yep. Um, and that'll it. Uh, good night for now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Alright, say bye-bye, Disney. Oh. Say bye. Hey, we're gonna go see some NASCAR stuff now. Hey, that is gonna be fun, hopefully. So. Well, let's go, go to Miami, enjoy some beach life, and and then racing. We'll see. All right. <laughs> bye, bye bye, Disney. Yeah, we're gonna go on a road trip now.
said, I've got rock birds, buzzards, I guess, there, and so many more over there. Don't know why there's so many birds. All flying south for the winter, I guess. I don't know. These are like all buzzards. Yeah. We're gonna go eat a sandwich oh. at the pork sandwich. First place looks a little, a little too hole in the wall, so we're gonna go have this uh, Duppy Sports Girl. It looks pretty better. Duppy's place is pretty cool. We got all these college football helmets around this here. Really nice, laid back environment. Like the flow we have going on here. Mm. Looks good. What'd you get? These are lobster tacos. And I got a Reuben sandwich, so. Again. Yummy, yummy. We are about 45 minutes away from our hotel, which let's see where we are at. We're by Miami Lakes area, so just kind of traveling along. Got to turn the GPS back on since we're using Apple CarPlay. Starting route so he knows where to go. Southwest 117th but yeah, just run along. And miles. Continue on to Palmetto Express. Mostly Express. flat Florida, so hadn't been much of really nothing to see. So ready uh, to see something else. Honestly, this has been a very boring kind of sightseeing drive so yeah not really as much as I'd rather be a bunch of shops and palm trees and lakes well, well when the, the lakes are kind of cool but when I was driving there was it was flat there was like no exits for anything so it was literally like nothing to look at so yeah it is what it is so anyway so we'll be there soon probably close to 11 and it's now six so no it does not take that long but um we made a couple stops and ate and whatnot but ran, today, ran into some rain a little bit of traffic yeah today was just a travel day chill travel day so anyway so we'll go get checked in and get settled in and maybe go out in a bit yep see what we can do all right, so we approve our hotel, and now we're gonna go to this cool mall we found. Caught saw Bass Pro Shop, saw a lot of cool stuff there. Called Dolphin Mall. And it's even got an IKEA. We never see those. Oh yeah, well, IKEA's beside it though. It's like a little split or something like that. It's amazing how different the lures are, like depending on where you go. I guess that's still pretty good. Yeah. So we went to this mall that was probably about 12 minutes away, Dolphin Mall. So this is kind of themed, I guess, around this kind of area. We're used to seeing kind of hunting and all that kind of stuff, but that makes sense for being in Tennessee, but... More bass fishing, stuff like this. I mean, I couldn't catch a bass on this. I mean, it's, it's, it's really heavy, actually. I mean, it could hurt something like that. Fish. Going up a second flight of 
escalators. Oh, it looks like there's another one in, in the store. Yay, more escalators. ESPN Classic College Football. Last night was kind of just a chill night. We traveled over from Orlando to Miami, which took longer than we really expected. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a good, fun travel day. And now we're ready to head to the trek. And we got, uh, she's wearing her shirt, and I've got one exactly like it. But we're in Honeymoon and in Homestead, Miami Speedway. Yeah, he made it, so he likes designing stuff and whatnot. But yeah, last night the Ikea was... Yeah, Ikea's not really all not, caught up for me. Not for me. I... We got lost. It, we found a table, though, uh, and that'll come in next week, so uh, stay tuned for that via... Oh, wait, you'll probably see that see that on Twitter probably before that this airs. <laughs> Twitter, at any minute, minute, whatever it might be. Whatever, but we ordered this table that I saw in a, a NASCAR group on Facebook, I guess. Here, I'll flash a picture right here. <laughs> but, uh, well, uh, it, it's supposed to fit, like, the, the... We have two race tires that... One, Alex Bowman, that he got from his first win. And then mine's a Chase Elliott from his Kansas race in 2018, the spring one. Yeah. And so this table, like, you put the tire in it, and the glass goes on top of it. So we're going to use it a coffee table at our house. So, like I said, we'll probably already have it by the time this video comes out. So you'll just, you'll just see it out then. Fun times. Let's go see who's going to be Truck Series champion. All right. Hopefully Ross. Yay. Go Ross. We got in our exercise, definitely. Um, in the forecast, it says rain, and I didn't pack a rain jacket. So, yeah, he did, and didn't even bother to tell me he did. So, I probably would have brought mine. So, I was trying to be cheap and just buy a basic one since I already have, like, three rain jackets at home. Um, but, you know, that didn't work out. We went to so many different stores at the Dolphin Mall, and... You know, just none I found I like. So we went to Bass Pro and... Can't go wrong with Bass Pro. Love my Bass Pro shops. Yeah. Um, we love them too. Sponsor of uh, multiple NASCAR teams. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, um, they had options, but I, I didn't want a bright color one because that's kind of obnoxious in my in my mind. And uh, and then I already have a black Columbia one at home, so I didn't need that. So I ended up just going with the poncho about an hour later and literally just settled with the poncho. Probably could have got that at the racetrack. And then when we got done in the mall, we had really no clue where we were, and we ended up walking a long, 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 long way. So, anyways, now we're finally heading to the speedway. It is now 11.08, so it says we'll get there in about 30 minutes. So, um, we'll enjoy this little car ride, probably relax, and then get up and go, 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 and enjoy this new racetrack. And we can uh, definitely cross another one off our list. So, we got uh, over eight hours until the truck series race is scheduled to start tonight. Get in. Well, we'll see how this rain looks. To keep so, to hopefully, uh, kind of um, the Homestead. forecast looks like it'll um, rain kind of around noon, early afternoon, um, and Trump should be done. Get over on us for who knows why. Uh, well, maybe we should go. Coming up. 
up on the speedway. Welcome to the championship. In one mile, arrive at Homestead Miami Speedway. Alright, there it is up in the distance. Oh, it looks like a ice car. Wow, there's the trucks! Wow. Jarrett, there and you over there? <laughs> yeah, way before I bought you the ring. We were flying back and forth like you were wearing that. it. There's no like really close seats. Like you start, uh -huh. so I guess oh, yeah. it's really nice. But I guess what's different also is this track is you can see the version of me. Let's go race them. Can we get a scanner? Uh, I don't know if we'll do that. Yes. They're looking at little flushies. Alright guys, this is something you've never seen before. The 17 is in victory lane at the championship. Probably right. won't happen. Oh, well. He gave it his all. Got a flat tire. How did the Toyota self with the the tour area? Oh, hey, we can meet the driver. Hey. Hey, Blaney. Hey, Harvick. I'm a little bit taller. Uh, yeah, Blaine, yeah, you're kind of kind of short. Good. You're all kind of short. Is that Joey's a little tall. Look at this. Look at me next yeah. to Joey. Joey's tall, guy. Okay? It's okay. They got to stand here all day and then go race the car. But he, shoot, he's standing on his tippy toes. <laughs> right. Well, that does weigh tall. Here we've got the crew from MRN and ISF Connect with Daryl Mott and New Health over there. They actually just interviewed me and Claudia when they saw our honeymoon in the homestead shirt. So I think probably on Sunday they're going to play the little clip where they ask us who wins the championship. That's pretty yeah. cool. So I said Denny Hamlin because I want him to get his first championship. And uh, Danny said Martin Truex, which I'd be happy with him too. I, You know, he's my, I guess, almost equal pick, but always kind of like somebody getting their first win. It's kind of almost like an underdog kind of feel. So that's that's why I chose him. But oh, yeah. we'll see. <laughs> Rental comes with one headphone for safe listening. Also offers two headphones. Checking out the Rock Sword team over here at Era. Big sponsor of NASA Hope Edition magazine. Looks like they've got a few of their units on display here. Pretty cool stuff going on over here. Seems like they're going to be really fun to get out and have some fun in the mud in. There's a big Kyle Bush area set up here. Looks like they have a little MM's truck. So this isn't quite the meal I thought we would have in Miami, but it's like this awesome mac and cheese truck we found. And she's got, oh, and we kind of get some nice slushies too. We've got red and blue here. And we have an all-American cheeseburger mac and cheese. And mine's called the Best of Both Worlds. It's like a, a short rib. Uh, bag mac and cheese sandwich, so pretty awesome here. You like it? Okay. Yeah. Alright, so we're currently waiting on a tram. Uh, we should go to the back side of the speedway here. Danny B made a call and uh, was able to. I, I was already, already had like a, a hot pass for myself for uh, this weekend, but I can't go down there without my wife. That's not, that's not good. So uh, Danny B made a call and uh, we, should be, we should have one for her too, so we're gonna go pick up our hot passes. Maybe go. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll run into some other YouTubers down there.
I guess that's a like dedicated Xfinity garage area, so that's pretty cool. And kind of like we saw at Bristol, everyone's like ready to ready to get going. Oh, there's there's Cole Custer, new driver to 41. Championship four for the Xfinity series all lined up right here. Go Junior Motorsport.
say a few words? Good evening, and uh, I will be brief. First of all, welcome to Homestead Miami Speedway. And VP Vehicle Component Systems Engineer, Joe Holland. Inspector, you are ready to participate in the race. Please note the pit road speed and caution vehicle speed. On the initial pace laps, check your pit road speed when the caution vehicle turns on its overhead lights. Drivers and spotters, there are only two places to safely escape the race. Step in, go to the outside lane, stop by the pace vehicle with the caution lights on for the inspection, and then we'll send you on your way to celebrate. And racing, wished him luck. in NASCAR. He looks so worried. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Classic May May. Yeah. So I put, I put that and you can tell his feet are in the water right here because it looks like he's got like mermaid feet or something like that. But nice. regardless though, that's just what I love to do. Make memes on my spare time and race virtual cars. So there you, there you go. Sloppy Joe. Meme extraordinaire and sim racer. It's me.
Cleaver, but back in the number 75 truck, he ends up no 14, Tyler Hill is outside. Corey Cooper in the 04, and Cody Horwath in the number 9 truck, making up for number 15, Reggie Crowley in the number 9, with Jesse Little in the number 7, they make up row number 15, and that is Miami. This is the race. This is all that it comes down to for the four drivers that are vying for the title here, the 52, the 24, the 45. There is look on the wall right there that separates the track from pit road. They're in it now.
It's Ross Chastain in the Eckford seat. Green flag is going to fly at lap 54. Here comes the field into the Geico restart zone. Again, Austin Hill will restart.
amazing stuff for an amazing team. That's David Pepper, the competition director, team manager for Thor Sport Motorsports. They are drafted, who is a now three-time champion, matching uh, Jack Sprague, one of the legends of the truck series here, uh, with Brad Moffat in fifth place. Celebrating going to be going on here, not the least of which is being able to now hoist that flag that says, I am the 2019 Gander Outdoors Truck Series champion here. They're going to give Matt that flag, and I imagine it's going to be one heck of a burnout. We'll let it ride right here. flag. He is burning donuts on the main straightaway. We'll get Matt's thoughts coming up. Again, Austin Hill, your winner. A year ago, when we made the switch and, and everything that we've been through and I'm living my dream out here. Yes, yeah, it sucks right now, but um, yeah, it'll be okay. Sun will come on tomorrow. We'll be just fine. Uh, so proud of these, these motorsports boys and girls cars. Uh, we'll head off into turn number one and two. He will be gridded there, make his way around the racetrack. We'll get the championship stage set up. Modified on the dirt in Syracuse and hop in a truck and race in Iowa or wherever the trucks are racing and just go from one to another to another and do it fluently, winning races along the way and in this case tonight, having the opportunity and the chance to win a championship. The party's underway. Let's go down to Gatorade, next to lane. Bill, Bill put this uh, Menard Ford F-150 in victory lane. I know it's Ford's last time here in uh, championship weekend and nothing sweeter to put a Ford in victory lane and take the chair down in the victory lane the championship and give it to Ford and everybody's worked so hard here. What made the difference today? Uh, every one of these guys, I mean, just working their butt off. Uh, first run we were off, but we kind of felt we knew we were going to be tight. We just thought the track would be pretty free, and it wasn't near as free as it was. You and the Thor Sport Racing team have excelled throughout the regular season, continued success in the playoffs, and really put it on display tonight here at Homestead Miami Speedway. So, on behalf of NASCAR, congratulations to you and the entire Thor Sport Racing team for our 2019 NASCAR Gator Outdoors Truck Series champion. How sweet does that sound? Before I ask you, how proud are you are, Daddy Oni? Good. Good. It's a beautiful night. I'm glad she's here with you. Congratulations. You were set on go tonight. When they threw the green flag, it was charged. You did an awesome job, man. I'm so happy for you, Junior, and this whole team. Yeah, this one, our Ford F-150 was good. I mean, the first run, we were a little bit off, and I knew that these guys were going to tune it up. And uh, there's just air pressure adjustments from there, and uh, we, we just never give up. And that's what we did. I mean, we, we came into the, the playoffs, the underdog, as they called us. And we, we how good does feel? Melody, how about let's give back this trophy? Because she likes that idea. Ben, thank you so much. Hoister, buddy. <laughs> Junior, congratulations. Beautiful night. Great team. We're so happy for all of y'all. Come down here and put it on them like you did. And that'll do it for the 2019 NASCAR Gander Outdoors Truck Series season. Matt Crafton mm -hmm. is the champion, champion without winning a single race. How about that? It's funny, I had joked about that. I said, I was like, it's like you know what? I think it'd be funny if like Austin Hill would win it and then maybe Matt Crafton finished second. I didn't know that was actually going to happen. Austin Hill actually won the race. So, yeah, I kind of predicted that, I guess. But it, in my opinion, it exposed all the flaws that this playoff system creates. And uh, we'll see what we'll see what uh, what people think about it. I'm sure it's gonna be causing a lot of stuff all over Twitter and Facebook and all that tonight. Yeah, I didn't like it. I was pulling for Ross, and the first half yeah. of the race was was good, but second half was kind of boring. But I mean, that's a mile and a half track for you, so. Yeah. So what are you gonna do about it? All right. Hopefully, the other two series are good. Yep. Yeah. Either way, congratulations to Matt Crafton, and uh, yeah, that'll do it for tonight. We gonna do another race day tomorrow. Bye. Yep. Bye, guys. All right.
Good morning, day two at NASCAR. All right, we'll get hop in our rental car and go get some to eat and head to the track. Xfinity Series Championship coming up today. Yeah, I got a Monte Cristo. I'm not really sure what this is. They said they messed up the names. I thought it was Mingo. We'll uh, wait till I bite in, but that looks so fun looking. I got a sandwich with a cheese loaf and a little spicy. We got a big order of fries. And that's just one order. So I'm glad we're sharing. Five guys have some dishes. <laughs> and then there's mine. So many palm trees down here. I feel like we're almost in a different country. That's what we keep talking about. There's so many people that speak Spanish here. Uh, we went to a Cuban um, what, a bakery kind of place. Yeah, it was a Cuban bakery. And it's like, even though we're in the United States of America, Florida, uh, we almost literally couldn't even order because none right of the workers speak any English. And yeah. Like at our hotel, like uh, the housekeepers don't speak any English. Um, it's quite the interesting experience like down here in Miami like the Orlando Kissimmee area definitely felt different yeah which I mean I guess we're so much closer to Cuba than we are to yeah we had no we literally had no clue until we uh, looked on our weather map the other day and like we literally saw Cuba was right there like oh wow I never really realized that yeah so um just heads up if you ever come to this area that <laughs> hopefully you know Eng uh, me well hopefully you know English too <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you know a little bit of Spanish. Or uh, you have like a little translator. Actually, in this area, knowing Spanish is more almost more helpful than knowing English. So. Yeah. Um, anyway, so we'll be there. It says 11 minutes on our GPS, so we'll get there about at 12:30. Um, race is at what 3? 3, 3:30? Yep. So, um, yeah, Xfinity Series race today. So excited for that! All right. Alright, we're here at the Speedway, sounds like the car is on the truck, and uh, we need to go this way because we need to go find our friends and we're going to go do some uh, go-kart racing here in Miami. Alright, so I'm trying to go fast with him. Alright, great. <laughs> First name? We live or? Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It'll be just like one play football. Right? <laughs> He laughed at me because I told him I, I used to Bro, play. See, I, when I play football, my head would start itching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we're just sitting there, coach talking, just like, like, I used yeah, to like, come in. I tried oh, passing, like, it, like half of the people went and half did and so I tried passing yeah, and I ended up spinning out and trying to pass people. That was my biggest like, what's the caution out for? Like, yeah. this problem was being around people. <laughs> like, because I was trying to stay, keep a distance away so I didn't crash anyone. And I think one of them, I went to the track and ripped it through into somebody else in the wall. Like, shit. I think I was four times with Josie. I think I was four times with I like I saw, yeah, so in that. Okay, we are done with those go karts. So I, I was really slow again last place, which I'm not surprised. Right, with a bunch okay. of boys. It's okay. Uh, I, I I come in just ahead of her, but I was still like three seconds off the pace. But it's, yeah. it is what it is. I mean, it was really fun. We got it had the whole garb, the helmet, the. The, you know, it came down with the little mask. It was hot in there. I, I don't know how you, drivers do that. It's fun, though. Yeah, it was fun. So we are um, about to head in the infield right before the Xfinity race. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go see what's happening down there. Tyler <laughs> Reddick, could he be the champion today? Or could it be Cole Custer? His car is sitting back there. Or could it be Black Black Meta? Is that Eric? No. The, you know, I was going to make that joke too, but I didn't think anybody would get it. Thank you. How are we doing? Oh, really good. Oh, that's your friend. Yeah, that's my friend. What's up? What's up? 
What's up, guys?
Mark's Xfinity Series Championship Ford EcoBoost 300. Before we kick off free race fest, the Homestead Miami Speedway and the Ford EcoBoost 300. Special thanks to all the uh, first responders and all the military personnel that are in the house and all our veterans, which allow us to live the best lifestyle in the best country on earth. The Miami Project and Bonacanti Fund for to cure paralysis. Mark Bonacanti. She will wave the green flag to get today's NASCAR Xfinity Series race underway. Please welcome our honorary starter, NBC6 anchorwoman, Roxy Vargas. Service our honorary pace car driver for today's championship 40 goes three. Starting 38th the number 74 Chevrolet from Lakeland, Florida, Joe Nevachan. Starting 37th at number 5, Pit Viper Sunglasses Chevrolet from Metamora, Michigan, Vinny Miller. Black Jr. He'll start 29th at number 61. Starting 28th at number 78, JF Electric Chevrolet from New Philadelphia, Ohio, Matt Mills. Starting 19th at number 38, RSS Racing Chevrolet from Phoenix, Arizona, JJ Yaley. Starting 18th, number 8. Starting 13th, number 89, Vizone RV Chevrolet from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Landon Castle. Starting 12th, number 4, KSDT and Company CPA Chevrolet from Wachula, Florida, BJ McLeod. Starting 11th at number 51, Fly and Form Structures Chevrolet from Spartanburg, South Carolina, Jeremy Clements. From Las Vegas, Nevada, Noah Gregson. He'll start ninth at the number 18, IK9 Toyota from Huntersville, North Carolina, Harrison Burton. Starting eighth, number 11, Leaf Filter Gutter Protection Chevrolet from Winnemaw, Indiana, Justin Haley. Mimachak. Starting fifth, the number 98, Ford Performance Ford from Mitchell, Indiana, Chase Briscoe. Starting fourth, the number 19, Juniper Toyota from Atlanta, Georgia, Brandon Jones. Starting third, the number 22, Money Lion Ford from Mooresville, North Carolina, Austin Sindrick. will win the 2019 NASCAR Xfinity Series Championship. Who will prevail? It's time to meet our championship four. Seven times a winner this year. He'll roll off on the outside of the front row today in the double zero. Haas Automation Ford from Ladera Ranch, California, Cole Custer. Your winner and champion here last year. He'll start on the pole for today's championship for Eco Boost 300. Driving the number two, Tame the Beast Chevrolet from Corning, California. Defending series champion, Tyler Reddick. Well, eight wins this season he has an eye on the championship. Taking the green seventh behind the wheel, the number 20, Reem Watts Toyota from Norman, Oklahoma, Christopher Bell. Week. He'll roll out from the outside of row number eight. In the number seven, Grant Professional Agricultural Chevrolet from Riverton, Illinois, Justin Allgaier.
race fans, the starting lineup for today's NASCAR Xfinity Series Championship for Peekaboo 300. Wait, 
down out of the corner and onto the pit lane. We're speaking of Tyler Matthews, who will put us under money line caution number two. Posty, and the right side of that race car is just torn all the pieces. I don't know if it was a cut down tire, but he blew the right front fender off from that automobile. It's smoldering as it rolls down the pit road, but a lot of damage to the right side. As a matter of fact, we got a three first of this. seeing how much hay Reddick and Custer can make. Pace vehicle on pit road, the green flag flies as the field rolls to the guy going Eastern. So here's
other on his outside, Brandon Jones on the inside as they race now for this third spot. Dean Chance has it. Jones diving up the bottom lane. Comes down to the inside lane, both fights up the racetrack. The Boston Center, one of those drivers on the first tire. Because of this, and then as the cars came around that bumper 
hardcover still sat there, finally got hit by the Joey Gates machine. Well, unfortunately, or unfortunately, nobody hit that, and that bumper cover now sits there, and yeah, as a matter of fact, it was Justin Haley's car, and it looks like he is going to the garage area, so the Cullen Racing Number 11 car going to the garage area here, as uh, he was involved into it, and yeah, actually got clipped by that car, as Tim see Brandon Jones, and Cole Custer up to the 10 spot, so he has rallied back now into the top 10. The Geico restart zone is where the cars are.
inches off the fence, lap after lap, and the final lap, he was right up there next to the fence, still did. We will talk with Tyler Reddick and the rest of the top five finishers as our post-race coverage is about to commence from Homestead Miami Speedway with Richard Childress Racing and Tyler Reddick claiming the heart. The car, we got to give a lot of credit to Cole Custer, who at one point in time was almost three seconds back at the finish line. He had dropped it down to one second. If we had had two, three, maybe four more laps, we don't know what might have happened. Maybe it was just Tyler Reddick going, you know what, I've got enough of a gap. I'm just going to make sure that I don't do anything back to this car and make sure that I bring it home in championship form. Either way, he is now back to back. It's finished turn number one as we get ready to get the trophy presentation set up over here right at the start finish line. Tyler Reddick have a big party tonight. And was the best car out there. I just was hoping it would be a closer battle. Uh, that's what I think I was more, just kind of whatever. I think it was still a very close and competitive race, but congratulations to Tyler Reddick. I will say all three of those drivers fought hard all season, and even they fought really hard against each other all night. Even Justin Allgaier fought really hard, but it's no, uh, no question about it why three drivers that were so competitive all season and all night are going, are all three of them going to the Cup Series. They all deserve to be going up there. But, I'll say this now, uh, if my shirt looks a little bit different. Well, you can't see your shirt where, with the way your arm is. Uh, but let's see if we can see my shirt. Alright, you'll see part of it. We're in the dark because we're traveling. But it is the Miami Heat logo. So, that his shirt says Miami, but yep. there you can kind of see so it now. We've, uh, we've changed changed our shirts and uh well i guess you can imagine now where we're going right now yeah so we're headed um to actual miami because we were in homestead which is very tip of florida which i always thought that miami was the furthest south you can go but wrong homestead kind of is i guess rather so we're heading a little north to go towards miami we um bought heat tickets they played the pelicans tonight um yeah i don't watch much nba basketball uh, neither does he, but um, people say that the Pelicans aren't very good, so probably going to be an easy win for the Heat. So I guess you could say the best w way to describe our day is NASCAR Heat. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Lame. Okay. Well, anyways, well, we got about 30 minutes until we get there, and then we got to get parked and get in. So we'll, we'll be arriving a little late um, just because with the race traffic and whatnot. But, yeah, so... Stay tuned and you'll get to see uh, NBA.
Spark. <laughs> the worst thing about coming to sporting event is just trying to find a place to park, but that's a pretty cool arena. Uh, just for a minute.
Sam Farley. By the heat, they uh, they had like uh, over 105 points, I think. I think so. it was 109 was the final. I don't know what Pelicans had, but heat won. So good job, go heat. Um, I guess I'm not really much of a basketball fan, but I always kind of like I guess pulled for the heat. So kind of cool to get to go see one of their games. And even though it's weird, like Tennessee technically has a team, but it's like no one cares about it. <laughs> it's in Memphis, so that's probably why. Yeah, it's just because it's not around Nashville, the big hubbub. Yeah, area, but. Oh my gosh, Miami here is craziness. And it's actually colder than I thought it would be. It says 65. So, yeah. I mean, it's cool. So, I mean, maybe a light jacket, but we're going back to the hotel, so we'll be okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the drivers are just crazy here. Like, I don't know. We're in this kind of yeah, sketchy well, lot and whatnot. And they're trying to park cars every which way. So, it, it'll be interesting how we get out. Yeah, like a fool. Like, I don't even know what's happening right here in front of us here. A car on a curb, a car coming back. It's uh, quite the scene here in Miami, but we're gonna go now. Um, yeah, cut we'll, race tomorrow. Yep, this is gonna be it for tonight. Thanks for watching. Uh, vlog for Saturday. Bye bye. Good morning, Miami. 
It is championship stuff. <laughs> it is championship day. Who do you think is going to win, Danny? I think Alex Bowman will win the race. Okay, okay. He's, uh, uh, no, in all reality, I'm thinking I'm pulling for Martin Truex Jr. to win a championship today. So. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be mad if he won. I'm, in a way, kind of pulling for him, but I'm wanting Denny to get his first championship. I always kind of pull for those kind of... I don't want to say an underdog, but I mean, he doesn't have a championship and all the other ones do, so well, I say uh, go Denny. It's kind, which, of, it's kind of funny the way it's worked out the last few years. Like, usually the one person who didn't have a championship has won it, so like, Truex won it in the year where he came in. The other three had a championship, but he didn't. Last year, Joey did that, so it might work out that Denny does that too. But, Odds are in his favor. But uh, I'm, I'm going for yeah, so we'll see. Uh, we're heading to the track right now. It's kind of chilly this morning. It's The car says it's 59, which, um, yeah, kind of chilly for very South Florida, um, which we think the rain may have brought in the cooler front. So hopefully it warms up because we're both wearing shorts and a t-shirt and we'll be cold if it, if it doesn't heat up. But it's supposed to get up to like probably mid-70s, which will be nice. So, um, yeah, so we'll probably just hang out in the pits for a little bit before the race. Um, since we've kind of, I don't know, there hadn't been too much to do on the outside, so, um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. Yep, there we go, championship. Here we go. Almost there. Low key, we're kind of scared to get out. It was 59 degrees. It's pretty chilly. Picked up two of the championship favorites. Okay. You filming? Yeah. Okay, update. I had to literally buy a sweatshirt in Miami because I was too cold. Who I would have thought that. I know. That, that's twice literally on this trip. If you uh, watch the vlog and see uh, at Disney, we had to buy a sweatshirt. And here, we had a sweat. Well, I bought a sweatshirt. Luckily, he had one in the car, so he didn't have to buy one. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I'll wear this again, so it's not like it's a waste. But it's like a, well, you can't even see it. NASCAR sweatshirt. Um, but, yeah, so. Um, crazy. Crazy weather. Um, it's probably low 60s right now. But, yeah. Um, yeah, it kind of makes me mad because I have a pit jacket at home I could have worn. But, I mean. I didn't have an NASCAR sweatshirt, so now I do. There you go. Anyway, so hopefully it'll warm up and I can uh, eventually take my sweatshirt off. <laughs> yeah, it's Florida. Yeah, we shouldn't have to wear a sweatshirt. Don't break it. Got four miles to go. Never to be seen. Eric. Ran into the Eric E. Steph and Natalie. Yeah, we vlogged it. Yeah. With the same camera. Yeah, we do. And Corey made fun of mine, so he's going to make fun of yours, too. Yeah. Well, he's especially going to make fun of mine when he sees I've got, like, this little fuzz and this right here, so. Yeah, he's, that's, uh, yours is even more intense than mine. Mine's got nothing like that. <laughs> All championship drivers, haulers are here together. And everyone's still just kind of getting ready for everything. Crews are hanging out, growing some, growing some food over here in the 18 camp. That's pretty cool. Alright, bet, better luck next year for the Hendrick guys. We'll try and win a championship next year. Look at that big beast right there. I'd hate to be pulled over by that. Bump it. So 
they got all kinds of they got little paddle boards over there uh, they got a there's a jet ski over there i don't think i don't know if we can do the jet ski insane on the inside of an aspect track we got kayaks over there even the hooters girls are over there i mean it's a legit beach over here guys So beach rules, no swimming 30 minutes before sunset to 30 minutes after sunrise, no pets with the exception of service on the beach, no glass food, etc, etc. Got a little pier you can stand on over here, all sorts of good stuff. What do you think, Claudia? It's fun, it'd be nice if it was warmer. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is really cool to offer. Nice little place to sit out and relax on the beach here in Miami, ain't that right, honey? Uh, sure, uh, yeah. It's really cool to beach. Yeah. A little bit of fishing over there. Looks like that young man just caught a bass. How about, how about that? Good job, buddy. horsepower package that we run on these size tracks. That's a little deceiving to look at speed charts and, and know who's going to be the fastest car or race the best uh, because we are we're all taking different approaches to the amount of drag and downforce the car has in it uh, to, to weigh out short run speed versus long run speed. Uh, so I'll TikTok stars over here as well as YouTube people. So, TikTok, you got a rising community over there, I guess. Ah, uh, we go, we get back on? Did you go to the beach already? Yeah, we went to the beach. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> if we if we had more cash to really just spare, maybe we would have, but I don't know. We could we, we, we can go for a walk and enjoy turns three and four here. Hey, we're going. I think, I think. 
cheering inside a tent right now for the driver's meeting and uh, we're just hanging out here. A little bit of a cool breeze here. You see it in Claudia's hair here. <laughs> Viewers, what do you love? I love the truck series, but I'm also um, a lover of the Xfinity series. They are my favorite other series. There you go. It's fun to drive. Which you have drove in. So. I have driven. I have driven the boat. I drove the boat. Oh, man. There you go. It is fun. How you doing? Small blade, big big motor. Have you you haven't heard of a truck yet? Have you? I've not driven a truck. I've drove a Canine car, car, then a truck, then not a truck. Xfinity car. Um, the biggest change for those is obviously a bigger motor, you have a lot more power, and then you also have a less downforce and side force. Uh, for me, when I went to Iowa in the Xfinity car versus last year in the K&N car, the corner speed that we had in the K&N car versus the Xfinity car was incredible. Yeah. We got in the Xfinity car, and it, everyone says, oh, Iowa isn't a short track. If you're in an Xfinity car there, it's a short track. Oh, yeah. You're on the brakes, setting the nose, getting it to turn, rolling a lot, and then back to hard. So. It's fun. I really enjoy racing the expansion. It's really fun. There you go. Rising star right here. <laughs>
right? No. Uh, it's uh, John Hunter name and check. Yeah, you play. Yeah, it's only for three races. There's no point in reprinting it. Oh, that's cool. That's oh, yeah. Thank you, David Reagan, for your years of racing. And friends. Oh, Bye guys.
race leader, Martin Truex Jr., will opt for the outside lane as they come to the Geico restart zone. Green flag back in the air. Lap number 86 goes on.
officials going out there, one of the crew members underneath the car has not yet radioed anything to call firm, but just verifying everything is okay. Now they just get the side. Cars now back on the lead lap at the front of the field. Al Bush and Kevin Harvick, Denny Hamlin, and Kyle Larson, row two, all eyes on the flag stand with 125 laps remaining the green flag. Pull that slide drop from the bottom all 
the way to the top lane. Kyle Larson will go to third. Now up to the fourth spot for the championship four. 
Good job, good job. Where's your kids? I don't know. Wait. What? That's a cool like, parade lab they do with that camp on I hope pick up the TV for all your a dolly can't run the middle of pick up format just got involved with yeah, what, what, what stupid format? Huh? I don't know about it. Of course. You would have won the win. Yeah, you would have won anyways. You would have won it anyways. Think about, yeah, think about 2008, he would have probably won in the regular one. Yeah, exactly. What do you think is actually like the format? <laughs> And it would indeed be a week that we would never forget about. And I'm so happy that I was able to get so much on film so that me and my wife could remember our honeymoon for the rest of our life. It also made it very nice to enjoy the final championship race weekend at Homestead Miami Speedway. And what made it so much better is that so many of our friends from the NASCAR YouTube community were there to watch it with us as well. Would we do this again? In a heartbeat because we are NASCAR fans and we love to be with one another. That's it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching our adventure. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video and I invite you to subscribe for more content like this. There will be plenty more adventures to come in 2020. We'll see you along the way.